Hello everyone, it's Koneko here and for today's video I'm going to talk about my recent fall favorites. But before we get into the video, if you are new here and haven't already, please consider becoming a part of this magical pastel online family by clicking the subscription button down below. Speaking of which, I just reached 400 subscribers. It is so awesome. I have been uploading for a year now on YouTube and I'm not necessarily expecting big things, but it is super awesome every time I reach another little milestone here on YouTube. And thank you so much for all who like, comment, or just subscribe to me for all of the support I receive. And since I hit 400, I am going to be hosting a giveaway soon. It will probably be announced in my next vlog, so keep an eye out for that. All right, on to my fall favorites. It is getting closer and closer to winter. It snowed a bit here where I live in Canada, and so I wanted to get this video recorded and get it edited and posted. I was trying to do a seasonal favorites video for every season. I missed summer, I'm so, so sorry. It honestly probably would have been like my wedding ring, my wedding dress, like my wedding pictures, like that's probably what my summer's favorites would have been all about. So now on to my fall favorites. One of my fall favorite items is this huge Pusheen mug that says perfect weekend on it and has a cute little Pusheen. I got this in my Claire's haul and I posted a little video about it. Um, but it is super cute. It's probably one of the biggest mugs I have for tea. I mainly just drink tea, so that's what I use this for. And it's just super pink and pastel and has very cute items on it with the cat as well. And the other side's just plain. It's like almost as big as my face. More tea related stuff is this honeydew white tea. I actually just ran out of it. It came in a bundle pack that I got quite a while ago from Costco, but I definitely drink a lot more different types of herbal teas in the fall and winter. In the summer, I mainly just stick with my English breakfast, which is my absolute favorite tea in general, and it has caffeine in it, and I kind of use it as my coffee, like every morning kind of thing. Coffee often makes me too jittery and a bit too wound up, so I don't drink that much coffee, but English breakfast tea, the caffeine in that seems to be all right. <laughs> but yeah, honeydew white tea, super, super yummy. I love the flavor of it, and for like this type of tea, I don't add any soy milk or sugar or anything like that, where my English breakfast, I do add a little bit of soy milk and sugar just for a little added sweetness but this just is so delicious and I actually went into David's tea to see if they had anything similar and I picked up something that like they said was supposed to be similar but just nothing has compared to this yet so if you know or maybe I should just look online and type in honeydew white tea and get a bunch a cute little knickknack favorite is this little Donatella that was also in my Claire's haul, but I wanted to put it in this video for a few different reasons. It is one of my favorite little figurines that I've gotten, and I think in one of my other favorites video, like maybe my spring one, I had my little alien nude um, Donatella. I had my little alien alien Donatella in my favorites video and so for this favorites video I've gotta include another Nutella character since they are so sweet and cute and I'm obsessed with like pastel donuts and sprinkles but I also wanted to add her for another reason 
that being that she was a blind box surprise and one of my favorite things probably for a long time now but especially recently have been the donatella mystery boxes the blind boxes i've opened some for pasheen before this probably would have been better suited for my summer favorites if I would have had remembered to make one, but it's still a favorite drink of mine. It's just more like refreshing for summer type weather, but it's this fruit to O and it's some um, raspberry lemon. I don't know how healthy these drinks are. It says zero calories. I don't really care about that type of thing. It's like a fizzy light drink and the raspberry lemon is my favorite. It just tastes really, really good. I do love lemonade and pink lemonade, so it kind of reminds me just of that. Sorry if the lighting keeps changing. The sun is like going in and out of behind clouds. What can you do? I could have used studio lights, I guess, but I was like, ooh, it's sunny, I should film, and then the sun decided to like be annoying. The next item I want to share with you are these long dangling earrings that are super cute. I also got them at Claire's, but I just really love them. They are these long earrings that kind of look like a crystal ball at the bottom, and I absolutely love that they look like a little purple crystal ball and it's all like cracked and whatnot. So I do love all the jewelry that I did get in that Claire's haul and there's a lot of other items that I really do love but for kind of fall, I don't know, I just really like these ones. I know they're more of a lighter purple but I just really have been loving these ones lately for a lot of different looks even um, just with casual outfit that I'm more likely to wear in town. And I think they look like really great with my natural hair as well, so that's probably why I really love these ones. As for clothing, one of my recent super, super favorite sweaters is one that I got at Costco, but it's Adidas. And so it was quite a good price. I think it was like 20 bucks at Costco, and it's like Adidas. It's got the little Adidas logo on the sweater here. It kind of blends in and I almost got the black one but for some reason I just loved this gray one a lot maybe it's just because it's kind of like a speckled like dark and light gray and I was just all for it <laughs> and so it's got a hood it's super cozy and soft and the pockets are really nice and like huge like really huge and then there's like this inner pocket thing like I don't even know but there's like inside here if I can get it there's like this flap so when you're wearing it like right side up it's like a secret inner pocket thing so you can just like pull in your arms and like have a pocket I don't know it is super soft and cozy and it's it's big but like it fits quite nice like it doesn't look baggy or anything I just I love stripes I love Adidas this is so comfy as for another favorites recently it's more like practical favorites maybe this isn't necessarily my favorite of all time phone cases that I own but I've been loving it recently so recently has been fall and I decided to include it in here because it's kind of it's more practical like I can easily put it in my pocket in my small purse and it's subtle for work so it's still like pastel -y and cute but I can still you know have this at work and not feel like very obnoxious with a huge pastel like furry bunny phone case that's a phone case or like you know no face and it's kind of bulky so this 
for convenience and I just I mean I do love it it's super cute and sweet strawberry strawberry kuneko one of them is anime related and it is the newer anime I'm gonna butcher the Japanese title do I even attempt it I mean I need to practice Japanese I barely do but I want to so Mahotsu Kai no Yome? It is the ancient Magus's bride. I don't even know if I said the English title right. Anyways, it's this super cute anime. I'm finding it super cute. John and I are a few episodes in. So this anime is seeming pretty cute. I'm really interested in continuing on with it. I'll insert a better image on screen of kind of maybe like the cover. It's just very interesting. It has a lot of like magic and stuff in it, which I am very interested in and curious about and always have been a long-term Harry Potter fan, uh, Potterhead, and uh, a lover of the show Charmed, which I'm currently re-watching and I have been for the past several weeks. I think I'm on season three, halfway through season three. So those are a few of my fall favorites. I'd love to know what your fall favorites are, what kind of things you like to do or wear in the fall, different colors that you like. I really love the color burgundy for fall. I think it's, you know, kind of a typical maybe color for fall, but I really love burgundy tones and colors for fall. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up so that I know that you liked it, and I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching! Bye!